Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Experiencing the very presence of God in the indwelling of the Spirit, let us acknowledge our human weakness and turn to Him in a humble and contrite heart. I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd of Philippians joined in and showed its hostility to Paul and Silas. So the magistrate has them stripped and ordered them to be flogged. They were given many lashes and then thrown into prison. And the jailer was told to keep a close watch on them. So following his instruction, he threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. Late that night, Paul and Silas were praying and singing God's praises, while the other prisoners listened. Suddenly, there was an earthquake that shook the prison to its foundations. All the doors flew open, and the chains fell from all the prisoners. When the jailer, when the jailer woke and saw the door wide open, he drew his sword and was about to commit suicide, presuming that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted at the top of his voice, Don't do yourself any harm. We are all here. The jailer called for lights, then rushed in, threw himself trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas, and escorted them out, saying, Sirs, what must I do to be safe? They told him, Become a believer in the Lord Jesus, and you will be safe, and your household too. Then they preached the word of the Lord to him and to all his family. Late as it was, he took them to wash their wounds and was baptized then and there with all his household. Afterwards, he took them home and gave them a meal and the whole family celebrated their conversion to believe in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. You stretch out your hand and save me, O Lord. You stretch out your hand and save me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temper. You stretch out your hand and save me, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I call, you answered. You increase the strength of my soul. You stretch out your hand and save me, O Lord. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the works of your hands. You stretch out your hand and save me, O Lord. Alleluia. 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 Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he redeemed with his blood. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me. Not one of you has asked, Where are you going? Yet you are sad at heart, because I have told you this. Still, I must tell you the truth. It is for your own good that I am going, because unless I go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I do go, I will send him to you, and when he comes, he will show the world how wrong it was about sin 
and about who was in the right, and about judgment, about sin, proved by their refusal to believe in me, about who was in the right, proved by my going to the Father, and you seeing me no more, about judgment, proved by the prince of this world, being already condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Abiding, dwelling in God's presence. As I spoke to you this week, we are in the whole experience of at home with God. At home with God. Making that whole experience of dwelling, that indwelling presence of God. Jesus told the disciples on, on Sunday in the Gospel, If anyone keeps my word, the Father and I will love them. And they will come to us and we will make our home in them. It's about that whole experience of God. You find the deepening of this dwelling of God in the Gospel text today. Because the disciples are broken, their grief in heart saddened in their heart the sense of emptiness in them because of the departure of jesus and they are lost at that moment and jesus do not worry i have to leave you but i will give you the advocate the indwelling of the presence of god the holy spirit in you i am with you always that whole experience of god's presence with them do not be afraid i am with you and you take a moment and you ask yourselves, how does this indwelling presence of God at home in me today? To capture that again, I invite you to, to step into the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Silas, who have stepped out of the boundaries of the Jewish world into the Gentile world, they are struggling, but they are full of joy in them, full of joy. And they are thrown into prison. And the word here is they are flogged, they are beaten, and they are thrown into the inner jail by the jailer. And the beauty of the text is that they were singing and praising to God because of the indwelling presence of God. Sometimes you and I are in the captivity of our human soul. We are broken, we are chained in many ways. There are days we wake up and we are still angry with someone. We still go to bed and we are still disappointed with someone. We are in that chain of our own prison. And here we have Paul and Silas praising God and laughing to the top of the voice because of that indwelling presence of God. Because in that moment, you will call yourself the divine intervention of God. Earthquake, they are set free. The divine intervention of God's grace when you are at home with God. And the jailer is surprised with this remarkable thing. And he says, how this can happen to you all? Now the jailer is troubled. The jailer is now in his own jail. And he's worried how to, how to answer to the situation. And he asks Paul and Silas, how do you get this done? And Paul and Silas says, it's very simple. Just get baptized. And fill yourself with the Spirit and you're at home. And the jailer says, I want to have that experience. Because I've been in this moment for a long, long time. He gets baptized and the gospel text, sorry, the Acts of the Apostles ends with, they take them back to their home. It's the home. At home with God. Let us ask the Lord the grace as we begin this day. Some of us are still struggling in that prison that we are in, in this morning. Maybe we just can't let go of it yet. And yet the Lord says, do not be afraid. Whoever keeps my word, we will love them. And we will come and make our home in them.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which you have given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in the Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to now sins upon the fate of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We'll offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear, Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present age and life and ensure us the eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for the Synod. We stand, we stand before, before you, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as, as we, we gather, gather together, together in, in your name, name. With, with you, you alone to guide us. us. Make, Make yourself at home in our hearts. hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.